So yeah, welcome to Lost Castle 2, and it's a demo, so um, links for this game will be in, in the description below, and uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, what do you say we get into this game? And it's one of those, uh, controllers are the best experience games, so we're gonna be seeing how true that is. Or if I'm just better off with the mouse and keyboard. Also, um, what do you do about the people who don't have a keyboard? That, well, who don't necessarily have a controller of some kind, devs? And just have a laptop, uh, keyboard. So, um, hmm, there's that to consider. Yeah. Not really gonna voice that this out myself anyways, or narrate it. So I hope you're actually watching this video and not using it as background noise, even though I kinda sympathize with you on the whole background noise thing. And yeah, I get it if, uh... You're doing that. I do that myself. Hmm... Let's see now. Nah, yeah, let's just leave this as the basic uh, character. Hmm. And this is uh one area where the keyboard is handy. Nope, not doing that one. Okay, really, does you're not gonna let me fit the R in up from clear? Oh dear. I guess I'll just have to be perfectly for this video. Yeah, I'm not too happy about that. Well, I guess I could say that I'm French for this video, but no oh well. Hmm. Okay, so I see we've got a big, uh, spear. A to do that, um... It's to do that. And... Right trigger to, uh, do this. Huh, so I guess there's a built-in gun. And L to jump. And A to roll. Okay, so let's get this uh, show on the road. Right, so, um. Hmm. Okay, so. Right, so I guess uh, we go to the preparation area first. Uh, yeah, that seems like a good idea since I'm new to this game. So. Let's see now. Let's uh, see uh, who you are. Okay, Tuck. First Hunter, self proclaimed. I see what well, he's one of those people. Hmm. Also, another nice thing uh, about this uh, game is that it's uh, insisting by 10 and it supports that properly, so um, at least it does sort of that. Which is nice. Hmm. Okay, so let's just get some weapon training for this person, and... That's his light attack. Mm. Right, so that's, uh, that's taken care of. On front sides, to And had to job him ten times, like that. Right, completely missed that one. And nailed you, and... LB to drain out of me, uh, Elixir to recover health. Hmm. Okay, long press, uh, right button, healing shot to charge pressure valves, uh, release to fire, charge the energy to 70. Okay, so I went over. 
Tap the goblin and humanly press your value to 70 or more. Press uh, right button plus X to put the furnace into terrible overload. Okay, I completely uh, screwed that one up. Hmm. Right on, I completely missed that one. Hmm. Okay, so... Is this the correct one? Oh dear. Yeah, I think I found a bug. Hmm. Yeah, Joy's is dealing with the demo. I've done this multiple times, and the demo is not taking it, apparently. Doesn't have to be 70 exactly. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. So, I think I'm just gonna dip out. And I think that means, uh, going all the way back to the, uh, starting screen. Hmm. Okay, so I guess go talk to this person to, uh, release you from that bud for now. Yeah, and that's just a rather poor bud to have. But oh well, it's a demo. And it's an early build, too, so, um, there's that to consider. So, let's see now. Okay. And this is what we're going to be doing with our thing. Alright, so dodge the arrow. Alright, so, um, I guess it's boss time. Lovely. Okay, but they're trying to waste your attack on me. And just shoot you in the back. Okay, so I think I've got a handle on fighting this person. And dodge both of them and... Try to dodge you, because you're angry now. And I don't want to die. Hmm. Right, so, uh, is there a boss health bar or something, or am I just supposed to, um, wail on them until it dies? Okay, so that's- boss is now dead. Lovely. Okay, so let's uh, crack open this chest and see what's inside. A bunch of money, and let's see, green runestone after being picked up, uh, plus one, runestone's automatically stacked, okay, and I didn't find- Potion? No, I don't feel like, uh... Taking the rest, so, um, yeah. Let's take the ethereal token. Oh. And this one. I see we did just to, to pick all three. Hmm. So, I'm it for the best it in the Curse Arena. You know what? Stray it. Let's rest it for the best it. And... We're doing the Curse Arena. Thing. Okay, thunder drops randomly before clear clearing the arena, so I need to stay out of the way of the, the uh, thunder. Okay, time to dodge the thunder. Can I make you into the thunder bait? Uh, the survey says no. Time to dodge you. Ow. Okay, so I nailed two goblins with the, uh, thunder, so that's nice. Okay, time to get out of the way of thunder myself, so I don't end up in that trap, so, um... Time to drink the, uh, potion of healing. Like so. Right, so now I'm fully healed. Right, time to, uh, destroy that goblin by just leaving it and... 
the feather area. And I see that worked out just as planned. Right, so that didn't work. Right, so, um, hmm. Okay, Thunder, time for you to start working it to my advantage. Hmm. Side note, is anybody else reminded of, reminded of some uh, Pokemon music when uh, the background music is on? Or is that just me? Hmm. Okay, time to dodge you. Because I swear I hear some uh, Pokemon Gym Leader music. Probably like Gen 3 or something. Right, so that takes care of that mini boss, and it's time for new wave. Hmm. Right, so those are the plans dealt with, and oh dear. And I think I need to take a quick uh, break so I can restore my health myself. And just need to be aware of uh, where the uh, enemies are, and dodge their attacks. And hopefully lead the enemies straight into the thunder. Okay, Mr. Enemies, time for you to, um... Hit Thunderstruck. You know what? I think it's just gonna be a case of, uh, let's spam the A button and just, uh, spam dash our way through these enemies so I can just stay out of their way. Because I think that's the most powerful thing I can do. Yeah, because I can hit multiple enemies at once with that attack. And that's just lovely. And... Right, so, um... Hmm. Right, so that's most of them dealt with. So... Let's see now. Okay, so that's that first arena dealt with. So, let's see. And I also get some monies. So, Fallen Apprentice throws after using the right... Uh... Trigger weapon still. That thing is increased by... Three points for ten seconds. Um, let's uh, join two, and join the pristine rune, and hmm. Let's see now. You know, what, let's get the last puppet costume for the one after me. Elixir is below twenty-five percent. Hitting an enemy can restore one percent of after me. Elixir. That could be a lifesaver. So, moving on. Hmm. Okay, so... Let's just, uh, get things started by throwing, uh, the bombs at the enemies. And just, uh, use it... ...against them. And just, uh... Let's see now, grab you, and... Nail you in the face. Just like I planned. Hmm. Alright, so that's a big stompy, uh, that's we uh, boss dealt with. Okay, so that's that way dealt with. And it's time for more idiots to be dealt with. Okay, so time to dodge that bomb, which I did so successfully. Hmm. Alright, so... Yeah, those poison throwers are just annoying to deal with. Oh well. Hmm, luckily I can just ban the, uh, S -S -S And just do that. And now I'm at 120 feet combo. And that's the arena cleared. So, yeah, hmm... Alright, so let's get some soul trails from this thingy. Yoink! Was that really the award? Yep, that was the award. Okay, moving on to the next arena. And hey, the, uh, Pitzer Lights here, well, the Alchemy Lights here thingy is at 26%, so that's nice. Hmm. Let's, uh, grab some bombs first. Okay, so I see they prepared a basic defense against me. But oh well, I can still nail them in the face with the, uh, bomb. And that's just lovely. So let's take you out first. And... Hmm. I 
I probably want to dodge the, uh, drummer, uh, I mean, so, uh, hmm. Okay, so that's, uh, the bed stop the art sky dealt with, and that's the drummer boy dealt with. Ow. Luckily, I brought some potion lancer to drink up. Alright, so it would help if I was actually hitting the enemy. Okay, so another boss, and uh, another one. Lovely. Hmm. Right, so that guy's already, uh, in the zombie axe guy mode. Time to dodge you, and shoot you in the back. Yep, it's where I hear a Pokemon background music, uh, right now. Hmm. Right, so that's, uh, you dealt with. And that's a bit stomping. So let's deal with the drummer boy. There's the drummer goblin. Okay, and okay, time to toss you at your other uh, friend. And kill you. And that's the arena cleared. Or area. Whatever. Okay, platinum chest on the uh, ethereal device. There must be precious treasure inside, so let's just crack it open. Hmm. We were in stone, so, um... Yoink! Let's see, now... Iron One Lance, uh, Sapphire and Copper Staff, and... Hmm... I'm gonna try the Sapphire and Copper Staff for a change. Yeah, too bad we can't just dual wield. But no, let's just not include that. Although I suppose it would be rather impractical to dual wield lances, so, um, there's that to consider, so, uh, let's see now. I guess it's time to move on to the next area. Hmm, next area or cursed area? Let's go for the cursed area this time. Hmm, yoink! And did she said dodge will toss 5% of HP considering and uh, converting it into enemy well, eh, injury HP, so that's not good. Okay, so I just need to avoid that. Alright, so I already used the dodge, didn't I? Oh well. Hmm. Oh dear. So let's just start tossing crates at enemies. Like so. Because they can't do anything about that. Alright, so now you're dead, so, um, hmm. Alright, I have to get through this blockade. Yoink! And. Yoink! So let's just try not to dodge. Oh, probably should have dodged that one even though I said not to dodge. Okay, yeah, I'm running low on HP. Luckily I've got the elixir um, stored up. So that's just lovely. Hmm. Probably should have, uh, ran away from that spot, but oh well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna die in this curse arena. Yep, called it. Okay, so let's see what happens after this. Okay, so dual blades, uh, yeah, not reading that one. Really, does you censored it? Okay, so apparently Papuli is uh, some sort of curse word that I made up. Because it does say so. So it must be true. So I don't know why that's censored. I think I found a bug, Dev. Okay, so 50 gold coins. 
Hmm. So that's the arrow key. You know, I might be having a bit too much fun with the uh, arrow. So let's see now. Change hunter gear and uh, no. So let's see. Where do I spend the coins that I do have? Fuel in a cage. Hmm. Right, so... they don't know why. And they told everything they know. Hmm. You know what? Let's see, now. Let's just get out of there. Hmm. Let's see, now. Okay, so Armstrong is a builder. And funds are tied, so Okay, so this is the um Camp building uh segment. So let's upgrade the camp facilities by some. Okay, so let's try the blacksmith shop. Oh, this is one of those games that have the uh press button to make uh thing happen in game that I hate. Let's upgrade the anvil. And get the Optimus hot spits. And I'm broke. And I think that's where I'm gonna leave off uh, Lost Castle 2. So um links for this game will be in the description below. And if you want to support the channel, there'll be a link to my trophy uh, in the description below. And I guess I'll see you in the next one tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Nancy time. Yeah, so get subscribed if you want to see that one uh, when that drops. So, bye.